you might have seen fruit and vegetable vendors in the market using a weighing scale so if you go to a vendor and ask for 3 kgs of apples he puts this 3 kg weight on one side of the scale and apples on the other side now if the apples are heavier he starts removing some apples and he continues to do so till both the sides of the scale are balanced so if both the sides of the scale are balanced we can say that weight of apples is equal to 3 kgs as in this case so both the sides are balanced and we can say that weight of apples is equal to 3 kgs now we can represent this mathematically that is we can replace this is equal to by an equal to sign so weight of apples is equal to 3 kgs we can write it in this form and this is an equation so when two things are balanced or equal we can represent it using an equal to sign and it is called an equation but what if the things are not balanced or they are not equal as in these two cases here we see that the side containing apples is heavier so weight of apples is more than 3 kgs in this case the side containing apples is lighter than 3 kgs so we can say that weight of apples is less than 3 kgs so in both the cases weight of apples is not equal to 3 kgs so it is not equal to 3 kgs hence it is an in equation so if it is not an equation it is an in equation so whenever things are balanced or equal we can represent them using an equal to sign and that is an equation when things are not balanced or not equal then we call it to be an in equation now answer this question does the following represent an equation marks obtained by raj are more than the passing marks so marks obtained by raj are more than the passing marks so it is not equal hence it does not represent an equation so this statement does not represent an equation now you have already learned expressions so these are different types of expressions when two expressions are equal an algebraic equation is formed so if expression 1 is equal to expression 2 we can represent it in this manner and this is an algebraic equation so when two expressions are equal we can represent it using an equation now have a look at this x plus 2 is an expression 5 is an expression x plus 2 is equal to 5 this is an equation because it states that this expression is equal to this expression so this is an equation x plus 2 is equal to 5 is an equation now what about this this is an expression even this is an expression and we have written this is equal to this hence this is an equation because it states that something is equal to something hence this is an equation now you will observe that in the first equation we have variable on just one side of the equal to sign that is only on this side of the equal to sign whereas in this case we have variable that is y on both the sides of the equal to sign so we can have variables either on one side of the equal to sign or on both the sides of the equal to sign as in this case also note that in this case we just have one variable which is x so we have variable x in the second equation 
we have y here and y here so in the second equation as well we have just one variable y so both the equations contain only one variable also the power of x here is 1 the power of y here is 1 even here it is 1 so in both the equations we have just one variable and the highest power of the variable is 1 and such equations are called linear equations in one variable so this is a linear equation in one variable even this is a linear equation in one variable so any equation which has just one variable and that variable is raised to the power 1 is called a linear equation in one variable now if you look at this equation it has two sides so the side to the left of the equal to sign is called the left hand side and we denote it as lhs the side to the right of the equal to sign is the right hand side and we denote it as rhs so this is lhs of this equation and this is rhs of this equation left hand side right hand side now can you answer this question does the following represent a linear equation in one variable now have a look at this it says x is equal to 3 minus y since it states that something is equal to something so it is an equation that is the first thing which we need to check so yes it is an equation now what are the variables we have a variable x and a variable y so this equation has two variables so it cannot be a linear equation in one variable so we say that this equation is not a linear equation in one variable because it has two variables x and y now see you go to a fest and you enter the stall to play the lucky 7 game in this game you have to throw a die twice and if the sum of the throws that is the sum of the numbers appearing when you throw the die twice is 7 you win the jackpot so let's play the game and roll the die for the first time so we get 3 So when you roll the die for the first time you get 3 now you don't know what will you get when you roll the die for the second time so let us represent it by a variable x now this x is a variable so what should you get in order to win the jackpot that is what should be the value of x such that you win the jackpot now if you get 3 in your first throw and say you get x in your second throw so what will be the sum of the throws it will be x plus 3 so sum of the two throws will be x plus 3 and the required sum in order to win the jackpot should be 7 so the required sum is 7 so we want x plus 3 to be equal to 7 so that we win the jackpot so in order to win the jackpot we want x plus 3 is equal to 7 and note that this is an equation x plus 3 is equal to 7 this is an equation and we want that value of x plus 3 which gives us 7 now you will observe that x is a variable here so its value can change or vary so as the value of x varies the value of x plus 3 varies the value of x can be from 1 to 6 because it is the number which will appear on the second throw of the die 
So it can either be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6, any one of these values. So if the value of x is 1, the value of x plus 3 is 4. If the value of x is 2, the value of x plus 3 is 5 and so on. But we require that value of x plus 3 which gives us 7. So we require this value of x plus 3. And this value of x plus 3 occurs at x is equal to 4. So if we get 4 on the dice in the second row, we will win the jackpot. So if we get 4 on the die in the second row, the sum of the throws will be 7. And we'll have x plus 3 is equal to 7. So the required value of x is 4. And we have obtained this required value using the hit and trial method. That is, we have tried different values of x and checked for which value of x we have left hand side is equal to right hand side. So we have got this required value using hit and trial method. So 4 is that value of x which makes left hand side equal to the right hand side. Or we can say that this equation is true when x is equal to 4. That is, this equality holds for x is equal to 4. For any other value of x, this equality will not hold. Hence, this statement that x plus 3 is equal to 7 will be false for any other value of x. It is true only when x is equal to 4. 4. Hence, x is equal to 4 is called a solution of the equation. We also call it to be a root of the equation. So, x is equal to 4 is a solution or root of the equation. It is that value of the variable at which the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So, a solution of an equation is that value of variable which makes the equation true or at which the equality holds. So a linear equation in one variable has just one solution. If you look at this, x plus 3 is equal to 7. So what added to 3 gives you 7? We have seen it is 4. So 4 when added to 3 gives you 7. Now can you think of any other value? No. There is no other value of x which when added to 3 will give you 7. So there exists only one value of x which makes this equality hold or which makes this statement true. So a linear equation in one variable has just one solution that is only one value of the variable which makes it true.